I felt like, you know, we had some ticky tack ones. I was looking back at our uh, our replay guys that, you know, usually giving me the signal whether or not we want to challenge, and they were all telling me in unison, you know, not to challenge a bunch of those calls. So apparently we, we must have been fouling. But my, my vantage point, I just think it's a slippery slope because then the same thing happens on the other end, and then there's no call. And now, you know, you kind of – you know, we, we, we say mental toughness. You got to have mental toughness. You have to be able to play through adversity. Uh, and a lot of times when that whistle gets active like that, it creates a lot of adversity. But um, that said, you know, I thought we played a, two thirds of a good, really, really good basketball game, three fourths, whatever you want to say. Um, and then we just, the fouls got away from us. You know, we, we only had 12 turnovers which is really is good compared to the way we've been turning the ball over. But again, they, they were able to capitalize on a ton of them, 23 points off our 12 turnovers. Um, and, but, you know, them going 36 for 39 from the line and 39 free throws is like we had 24. That's a lot of free throws between, you know, both teams combined. It's, you know, it's just, it, it totally disrupts the flow of the game. Uh, Rui, 19 minutes, uh, he was plus 12. Did he have a limit just since he hasn't been playing in a while? And, and yes. what, did, what, did you, what did you see from him in the return? Just him being aggressive. I just told him to go out play as hard as you can for as long as you can. Uh, we'll have it, you know, obviously we came, went into the game with the plan. Uh, but I, it was great to see him back out there and great to see, you know, him performing, not hesitant, um, not apprehensive, just being assertive and aggressive throughout. Devin, what did you think about D'Angelo's performance tonight, considering this is his first start, what, in 10 games, I think? I thought he was phenomenal. He really did a great job setting the tone for us. Um, you know, just, just his shot making, his ability to stretch the floor, knock down threes, excuse me, his playmaking. Um, I thought I thought it was huge for us, you know, to being able to be in this game and, and, and remain competitive f for the duration well, as long as we could. Uh, he made some high-level plays, high-level shots. Um, you know, he he did a great job. What did you make of AD's night? He had a career high in assists. Obviously, he had 15 rebounds, four blocks, but his overall shooting uh, numbers and and the turnovers, and it, you know, certainly didn't allow him to have as much of an impact as he sometimes can. Yeah, you know, he, he's hard on himself. Um, he has some shots that he took that normally go down, obviously, in his sweet spots. Uh, has some unfortunate turnovers. And I just kept trying to tell him, all of us encouraging him to keep pushing through. Um, but, you know, <laughs> you, you, if you want to call 15, 15, 15 and 11 average, it just lets you know how special he is. Um, you know, just him being out there, continue to compete the four block shots, even though he was having a rough night, 13 defensive rebounds. Um, you just have to push through. It's unfortunate, bad timing, actually, you know, with Brian not being in the mix. But, uh, you know, kudos to him. He, he he continued to fight as much as he could, and he was made himself available for us and stayed active defensively and stayed, you know, making plays for his teammates, thus the 11 assists. 